What's happening, everybody? Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to be going over just briefly, man. We're going to touch down on this Unreal Engine for Fortnite. Uh, I played around in it, man. I imported some assets, and I'm going to let you guys know what to expect and what's going on with this as far as what I see. All right. Um, first, I want to thank all the people that subscribed to the channel since the last video. And I would like to also thank all the people that have stuck around since the beginning. I appreciate you guys. Anyway, guys, Unreal Engine for Fortnite is basically a uh, kind of a stripped down version of the engine that's just set just for developing uh, maps for Fortnite. Okay, this is really cool because for people that are big Fortnite players, um, you can uh, basically set up your own little environments and test them and play and even invite friends to play in these environments. Um, pretty cool stuff. They also do give you all of the, uh, a bunch of the assets. So you get all the devices and things that are part of Fortnite. These things can literally just be dragged into the map like so, and then it's in the map. Um, they cannot be edited as you see these are read only so if we go to them and you highlight you'll see that every one of these says read only and it's a uh, their definitions so these are things that are probably available they have a language that they put out that's their own code uh, a verse that's um, set just for Fortnite so you can connect to that here you press this and it'll open up your whatever you use for coding whether it's visual studio or whatever you use and it'll open that up um they do give you pretty much most of the perks from fortnite are in here the vehicles um different modes all kinds of things so it is up to you what you want to put in you see you got skydive volume um all kinds of stuff so all you got to do is pretty much set it up. It's like sandbox building pretty much. Um, it will allow you to bring in your own landscapes right now. I think the largest size I saw though, when I tried to bring one in, I think, uh, it wouldn't let me bring like a humongous landscape in. It was like, I want to say it wouldn't even let me bring like a 2033 by 2033. It was like a 712 by 712 or something kind of small that it let me bring in. It wouldn't let me bring in anything extra large. Um, and um, as far as characters, you can import characters. And let's just go ahead and go into the Fortnite here. I'm, I'm already in. Um, if you are in uh, Fortnite and you load up here, this is like a sandbox build mode. So a lot of the things do not work. You can't pick up weapons. You can't do anything in here. You can build, you can chop things and you can drive vehicles so that you can get around your map fast you also have a double tap fly so that you can kind of fly around your map and see uh, how things are it gives you a nice quick way to get around so it's pretty cool pretty cool in that aspect I love it on um, the swimming all that stuff still works um so it's pretty cool now we can go in and actually start a game and as you can see here we have the menu it does show if you have friends on like all this stuff is here like so um it is connected to the fortnite universe here uh using the eos fortnite eos so we're going to go ahead and just start an actual game okay i don't have anybody playing with me so there's no other team but as you can see here on the mini map, I mean, everything instantly just works. If you drop it into the scene, it's in the mini map. Um, it's very accurate. It looks really good, high quality. Um, this is something that they really should kind of put in uh, actual Unreal Engine, in my opinion. Uh, 5.2, you should be able to have mini maps already. You know, they should have a built-in mini map. I mean, they have the, the mini map for development for the world partition. Um, I don't think it'd be that hard to get that to create an actual mini map from. So we'll see what they're going to do. Um, also, guys, don't expect that blueprints are going to work. Um, I had to tear all the doors out. Anything that was a blueprint, it literally aired it out. It wouldn't let me use it. So you're going to have to develop it, I guess, using their script and their version of things. You're going to have to basically develop using the Fortnite uh, uh, language. I guess for your blueprints, that's what I'm assuming because they did not work for me. Um, what else is there? Um, you can see the spawners, the guys work. 
and I have these guys set as neutral. I also put some animals, some wolves and things out here that we can check out. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, characters, guys. You cannot create your own characters. You can bring characters in for prop characters, like someone that's just standing around. You can put an animation on them and stuff like that. Like, you can do that. But you can't actually uh, add your own Fortnite playable characters. I did not see that option anywhere. And I can understand it in a way. They have a franchise. It's set a certain way. Um, I'm sure they have uh, guidelines that they like to try to stick to when developing for Fortnite. And you know, when you start letting anybody bring in anything, people, you can get some pretty weird ass ideas that may not kind of coincide with Fortnite. And people have their own morals and values. And they may not go along with Fortnite. So I guess I can kind of see that in a way. Um, definitely. Um, there would have to be some guidelines to the characters that you make and they would have to check it before you publish and all kinds of stuff okay so we'll have to see how that goes um but everything works there are plenty of tools um you can go back and forth in and out of this uh development phase really, really fast um this would be wonderful if you could take some of these tools and add them to your project um if you're an unreal developer once they do something like that, this will definitely be worthwhile to be able to have uh, like these tools and you know other aspects of Fortnite in your game, but be able to customize the items to be your items and you know li literally develop your own game. So, um, what else do I have, guys? Oh, when you're importing uh, items, or if you're migrating, I should say, like if you got things that you got in the marketplace and you are uh, trying to bring those things across you want to migrate from unreal engine 5.1 or above if you do not i'm gonna let you know right now what will happen is your materials will not have any colors it will basically reset all your materials and you'll have to go in and repair every single material that you have in the project so that's pretty much what happens if you do not uh, import from the right engine version 5.1 or above okay also you want to keep your textures below 2k 2k or below i should say you cannot put 4k every 4k texture i had it would error it out um the nice thing is it will let you know if you have incompatible files it'll let you know right away you just have to go in get rid of all of them and it'll connect right up so if you're having like issues and you're trying to uh get into test and it's not letting you test nine times out of ten you have something that's not compatible and you could go in and you can get rid of those incompatible files which for me was a bunch of blueprints and as long as you don't have them in the map you can have blueprints but you just can't put them in the map so if they, you have blueprints in there in your project or in um the asset that you're trying to bring in like like i said i had doors and stuff if you have something like that then yeah you can uh still have them but you just can't put them in the map or it's not gonna let you connect to uh, fortnite and actually test your map so that's another thing that i uh, discovered all right um i think this will be real cool like i said it, it, once they get it fully developed to figure out what they're gonna do with it um, i do like the fact that everything is here i just wish that it was something that you could customize a lot more and just make it really yours um as far as right now this is like a sandbox map map builder for fortnite pretty much is what this is where you can kind of bring in have your own assets have your own uh, props around and actually you know add your own grass add your own you know how you want it to look you can do that um, you can do cinematics, um, set up all different types of game modes. So there's a lot to this. Um, I'm just going to, you know, mess around with it here and there. I mean, I'm developing my own full fledged game. Um, this would be something cool to just mess around with, though. Um, for someone that's new to developing, I definitely would recommend that you play around with this if you're interested in developing. Um, it's a good place to start. Um, if you are a seasoned developer and you just want to publish something, um, from what I read when I went in and looked into it, it you said you had to be uh, involved for like 90 days. So you have to have been, you know, logging in, 
you know, uh, into the Unreal editor for Fortnite, which they can tell because you're connecting to the network um, every time you test. And even when you log, they know you're logged into it. So that's what I saw. And then you had to be over 18. Those are the two main discrepancies that I saw. So besides that, guys, you should be able to get in and publish your maps. They're probably just trying to give time with the 90 days as well. Um, I, I guess for other people that were creating through verse and their old methods, then um, you're probably golden. You might be able to just go right in. But I thought it had you had to be in this editor, but I'm not sure. I, I think it, you just had to be uh, on any of the creators for Fortnite for more than 90 days and then you're eligible. Um, I'm thinking they're given time to also uh, smooth out uh, the features in this version so that people won't be putting out janky broken maps all right and then the maps will be available they have some codes that you can download and you could check out uh, examples that they have already done so it's it's really cool guys i'm not going to stay in this too much longer but this is definitely something that like i said if you're new to developing or you are somebody who just wants to publish something um, i'll probably use it just to get the whole publishing under the belt you know but besides that, man, it's just something fun to play with for me right now. Um, it's not something that I seriously get into for the fact that I can't edit any of the actual hardcore, you know, uh, definitions here. Um, so we'll have to see. And maybe just I could figure out how to create my own uh, definitions. And I'm sure that's probably using the language that they have there. So guys, this is it. Unreal Engine Editor for Fortnite, man. Um, you can use this for consoles as well. Um, it's a full fledged, you know, it works for uh, Switch, for PlayStation, for everything. As far as I know, that's what I've been uh, reading. And um, I'll let you guys know if anything really, really super crazy comes up that makes this thing just fly through the roof. But this is their uh, Roblox, I guess, uh, answer to Roblox for Epic. And I hope it works out, man. Um, thanks for stopping by, man. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. Like, subscribe, tell a friend. If you have any questions or you have any actual, you know, information on Unreal Engine, uh, to uh for fortnite definitely uh let me know um uh, be cool when people start figuring out new things like how to uh add characters uh and things like that all right all right guys i'm out amp capo black adonis games mm -hmm.